everybody. Oh, happy day. I hope you're doing phenomenally well. In this video, I want to share with you about what to expect when you're a brand new insurance agent. Whether you're selling Medicare or life insurance face-to-face -face or in the telespace, this video was for you. You want to know what to expect. Are you having realistic expectations so that you can find yourself in a place that you're rewarded for your hard work? So insurance is amazing. It's freeing. But don't get shined on that you're led to believe it's just easy street and unicorns and rainbows and just show up in a cubicle and wow, money's just going to start stacking up. It's not the truth, okay? So you need transparency when you start off in the insurance industry. So if you're a brand new agent, saddle up. I'm going to get after it with you, all right? But before I get going, jasonfinalexpense.com. I run a national insurance agency and partner together with some of the most amazing folks across this nation to sell Medicare and life insurance face-to-face -face and even in the telespace. If you need help, reach out. I'll serve you in any way I can. But when you start off as a brand new agent, a lot of times you can get shined on. You can get led to believe that things are just going to be wowsy, wowsy, easy, easy, easy. And first off, understand this business is very simple, yes, but it's not easy, okay? If you think it's going to be easy and you're just going to coast into success, you're already toast before you've started. So understand that this industry is not going to be easy, but it will be simple. The next thing I want to share with you is understand that to be successful, especially when you're new, it's going to take hard work. It doesn't mean that you can't be part-time, but if you go at it in the part-time place, you've got to bring full-time effort into those part-time hours because this is a performance-based industry. Those that do are those that get. The greater that you are, the more you will receive because you're helping good people get what they want in the first place, okay? So it's not about sales, 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 even though that's the byproduct of what we do. It's really about serving, 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 and serving others. Help them, them okay, get what they want, and then you'll get the sales as a result because you're a better problem solver. Be a very good problem solver, but the first problem that agents have is thinking that this business is just easy, easy, easy. I can show up to an office, I can just sit down in a cubicle, sit at my desk, and just... Wait for the phone to ring. That's not the case, okay? You've got to be prospecting at all times, all right? So first off, understand it's not easy, and then really understand that you've got to put some hustle into it at all times. Focus on the most important thing, and that's you prospecting. If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, prospecting could be knocking doors. Prospecting could be calling leads, setting your appointments, and then getting your behinds out in the homes and helping these great people, or just cold canvassing and door knocking or setting up seminars, okay? You gotta be prospecting all the time. If you're in telesales, prospecting means stay on the phone, get on the phone, keep that 8,000 pound phone in your ear at all times so that you're ready to help people. But you've gotta be a sponge. If you're new, understand. If you've never done insurance, you don't know what you're doing yet. You will, but you've gotta have a good mentor. You've gotta have a good trainer. You've got somebody that you know, hopefully they have somebody that'll put you under their wing and help you. And my apologies, I'm not going to be super eloquent today. Had a lot of hours in on the clock, but I hope this is helping you when you start out as a brand new agent. Find someone that can mentor you. Find someone that has tremendous strength so that they can invest your strength, okay, in the best places. You need to be strong in the right places, not in the wrong places. So be strong in your grind. Be strong in your mind. Make sure you've got good methods whether you're doing face-to-face -face or the telespace, but make sure you're in a position to be profitable. Don't put yourself in a place where you think it's going to be easy. I'd rather you think it's harder, okay, than what it really is, than for you to think it's softer, okay, than what it really is, and then you fail out as a result because you didn't train, okay, for the hard times. This industry is phenomenal, but you're going to ride a roller coaster of ups and downs, especially when you're new. You're going to have a sale here and then no sales the next day sometimes when you're new. Don't lose heart, okay? Focus on your fundamentals. And that's always be prospecting. Always be prospecting. When you get a sale, go get another one, okay? When you've gotten that sale, go help somebody else. Go serve somebody else. Keep in front of people. Keep in front of people. People are the reason that you are in this great industry. The insurance industry is a time-tested and a noble profession. It's phenomenal. It'll give you tremendous freedom. But don't get shined on that this is just easy street. It looks like hard work. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to get told no a lot. 
rejection is going to happen a lot. So if you're one that has thin, thin skin, you can develop thick skin, I promise you. You can, but it's a learned skill. You've got to develop strength in the place of okay, times where you feel like you're getting the energy sucked out of you. Okay, Because if you're a face-to-face -face agent, drive into these sweet people's homes, and then some of these sweet people aren't so sweet at the door. <laughs> They'll tell you to go somewhere that isn't heaven. Understand you've got to have thick skin about you and a resolve to serve others. You've got to go through the no's to find the yeses. You're going to get told no way more than you're ever going to get told yes. But you're going to be more blessed as a result when you find success by serving them, giving them what they want, and getting through the no's, getting through adversity. You will overcome and be a career agent. So don't look at this industry as just a job. If you look at this industry like a job, you're already okay heading the other way. Look at this industry like a career. I'm going to charge. I'm going to help people. I'm going to charge forward. I won't retreat. I'm going to help my clients. I'm going to help my consumers. These people do need you. Keep working it with that mindset. Keep working it with that grind. Whether you're full-time or part-time, it doesn't matter. But understand some days you're underpaid, some days you're overpaid. It's going to happen. Some days you're going to work not too hard and it's going to seem like all the yeses are falling in your lap. And then another day you're going to work and man, you're doing lots of work and you're underpaid that day. It happens. Some days you're overpaid, some days you're underpaid. Embrace the career that you've chosen. It's amazing. It will give you financial freedom in your later years. It'll give you the freedom to have a schedule that you dictate instead of some boss telling you when to have a bathroom break and when you can take two weeks of vacation a year, okay? You're going to be your own boss, but you've got to be better at managing your clock, managing your time. You've got to be better at managing your time than you ever were when you were a W-2 working for somebody. When you're 1099, you've got to have a 1099 mind and grind about you. Don't get lazy. Complacency will hurt you. Okay, oh, I'm working for myself, so I'm going to be lazy. You're basically firing yourself slowly. So understand you've got to be intensely motivated as an insurance agent to succeed. Be more motivated than those around you. Eliminate distractions, and you're going to find yourself in a better place. Eliminate anything that takes your attention away from the most important thing. Ask yourself, is this an income-producing activity, or is what I'm doing at the water cooler, or with a buddy, or... Okay, maybe in your car as you're working. Is this reducing or increasing my income? Think about it. Make your decisions with that in view. And you're going to have the right target in front of you. And that's helping other people, being profitable so that you can stay in business and have a career that you're proud of. So understand it's going to be maybe harder than you thought. Train to that depth. Have good depth in training. Never stop training. Your career depends on it, okay? Have good mentors that invest proprietary training in you so that you can get the job done with, okay, finesse. Get a chainsaw. Don't be hitting that tree with an axe. And even the best axe that's sharp will get dull. Sharpen the axe. Sharpen the grind. Sharpen the mind. It'll be harder than maybe you thought, but keep prospecting. Always be prospecting. Never stop prospecting. You always need people to talk to. Always, okay? When you're an insurance agent, it's freeing. Have good leads. You need very good leads, okay? If you don't know good lead vendors, reach out to jasonfinalexpense.com. I can serve you there as well. Or if you just need a good agency to partner with as a brand new agent, that's good too, okay? I only partner with about one out of 30 agents. Um, but let me tell you, we do some fun things together. It's a great work family. But you've got to have the mind about you that you are ready and that you're going to help them. Understand it's harder than you may think but it is way more rewarding than you ever may know. Stick and stay. Never give up, but always be prospecting. I hope this helps you. It's a very simple business, and you have what it takes. Hope you have a great day, and keep taking care of the people that matter the most to you.